I think it's kind of funny the guy who throws the late wolf because you know you're getting ready for the face off and then you see the one come launching in. Usually it's toward their goalie and it kind of it's funny. It gives me a little laugh out there. The Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. A time to pay your respects and for the New Mexico Ice Wolves to dress the part with special uniforms, equal parts trick and treat. I love the jerseys of this year, like just as good as last year. There's a lot going on in them, but I like it. Yeah, for the weekend with the Day of the Dead jerseys, it's real cool, you know, there's a lot of excitement and buzz in the locker room and the jerseys are real cool. They're, they're a bit wild, but I like them. There's a lot going on there. They're cool. It's also time to come together with the annual tradition of Hockey Halloween. As for picking out a costume, well, let's just say some gave it more thought than others. For tonight, I don't know, I didn't go buy anything, so I might have to throw something together from my closet, maybe a cowboy hat. My billet mom was kind of helping me out. She, uh, she gave me a couple bins of stuff. So Jack and I have been kind of looking through those. Jack took the better costume because I was not really paying attention. Best costume, I'm gonna have to go with Will Howard. I heard he's got a Batman costume lined up for tonight, so. I'm Bruce Wayne this year, that's for sure. What's the co which version of Batman do you got? Do you have like abs, or is it like OG Batman, or like, like what, what situation are you in? No, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's got abs. It's like the new one, the new movie. Yeah, it's kind of like that, it's got that mask. Where'd you pick it up? Ah, Party City, shout out them. For the Halloween party, I might have to pick up some Riddler stuff because Howard's gonna be Batman. And he already picked up his costume, but his was like 50 bucks, so I might have to go a little cheaper and get a white shirt, make my own, make it from scratch a little bit. This year's Ice Wolves team has some fresh faces, including assistant coach Vinny Bone, who is happy to be a part of the Ice Wolves winning culture. For a few years, being an outsider uh, of the organization and seeing them progress every year and get better. Um, even from their first year to the COVID year, they kind of, those were tough times. I mean, tough times to be good. And then last year, you know, seeing them up close and coaching against them and seeing how the team was and how tight knit they were, you know, you obviously know something, something that they're doing from, you know, from Stan and Phil. Um, you know, is definitely speaks volumes. Another newcomer is Ice Wolves forward Yusaku Ando. Ando's hockey journey is an unorthodox one, taking him from Japan to the desert. I was in Japan like when I was 12 years old and I moved to in Canada next, next two years and got dropped by the USHL and played there three years and now I'm here. Next up for Ando, a trip to Poland where he'll captain Team Japan at the World Juniors. Comes to the near side of the net, up to Dan Zeger, shot! What a sassy glove save! Carson Stoke said, you're not getting it tonight! Between the pipes for the Ice Wolves tonight is Carson Stokes, a goalie earning a reputation for his highlight reel saves. Stokes, yeah, he's been great all year. He's really getting good at some of these big, phenomenal saves. Just, you know, it seems like Every game he's playing, he's making ESPN with some of these saves, so it's great to play in front of him. Yeah, he's easy to play in front of. You know, we got him back there, everyone's playing good, playing a little looser maybe because, you know, he'll, ba he'll bail you out. It won't be an easy test with South Division rival Amarillo coming to town for a pair of games at the Outpost Arena. Yeah, the South, it's pretty gritty. Like, you got to stick up for yourself and your teammates. As a goalie, you just see a lot of guys coming to the net. Maybe you got the puck covered, extra slash here and there, but our D always, they take care of the problem for me. Stokes knows these are the teams the Ice Wolves need to beat if they're going to get where they want to go. So our team this year, you know, coming off of last year, coming up two games short of the ring, like that's what all the returners want. And we've got a bunch of new guys that also want the same goal. So we want to win. Like we want to win the South, we want to win the Robbie. It's kind of what we're all here for. Two teams go in, one team will come out. This is the Day of the Dead, after all. The Ice Wolves would begin writing the Wranglers' epitaph with a 5-2 victory Friday night. 
Will Howard would score twice, and the Ice Wolves would get goals from J.D. Metz and Sully Scholey, as Stokes turned away 22 of 24 shots in the cage. And since this is the Day of the Dead, the Ice Wolves even added one haunted goal from defenseman Cam Benson. came around and kind of in my head thought 200 feet, that was my only thought. So I stepped down on it and hit it about as hard as I could trying to get it all the way. If it was going to happen to anybody to score a 200 foot first goal, it'd be him for sure. Weird goal, but I mean, we'll take it. It was a weekend filled with milestones. As forward Nikolai Dulak would play in his 100th game. Uh, playing 100 games just means it's just physical, like I've taken a toll on my body throughout the years. It's fun, that's what the next level is all about too, so just grateful I could play that many games here. Friday night would end with some physicality, setting the stage for the rematch on Saturday. It's a tough division, that's, that's for sure, and the kids in the division are tough, and they show it, and when you're down by a couple goals, or you're up by a couple goals, emotions run high. They came off the bus, um, coming to the altitude, they weren't used to it. Uh, we played real well, and I don't think they showed their best. So tonight, I think it's going to be a real physical one. Um, it's going to be a war out there. Despite a better effort from Amarillo, the Ice Wolves would complete the sweep with a 3-1 victory Saturday night, including goals from Ryan Johnson, Yusaku Ando, and Jeff Hutchinson, and a 24-save effort by William Craig. In many ways, this weekend was a microcosm of everything the Ice Wolves are building. A culture committed to winning that still understands it's the life experience that really matters. So, if that means designing uniforms as delicious as a full-size candy bar, tailgating for junior hockey like it's a college football game, that's what you do. Because even though it's the Day of the Dead in Albuquerque, one thing's for certain, hockey is alive and well in New Mexico. Come back and do it again tomorrow. We need to do more. Yeah. 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 Get on your knees. <laughs> <laughs>